Um, you know, what Jesus say, right? You know, the, when you're sowing seed, only 25% of it's going to stick, right? It's going to grow up with thistles. It's gonna grow, you know, the birds are going to get it. Um, I know I'm not doing a great job of <laughs> quoting like that what? scripture, but... but they like coming off a milk pony to me. Right. Know, that kind of yeah. And if Jesus is only batting 250, <laughs> then we're going to lose a couple <laughs> along the way. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Let me ask a question, yeah. and I, I don't want to say this in a way that anybody thinks that I'm raising my head above nope. anybody else's, but uh, I, I was involved in covert operations, and uh, yeah. I can't tell you anything I've done. Yeah. I find it everywhere I've been, I've been doing this, I've been out, I was a teacher, a coach, and, yeah. and I, I was in this operation for a long time, 23 years. Wow. I've never found an organization I can go into and never say exactly what I did or where I did it or yeah. how I've done it. I will not do it because I gave a note a long time ago that I would never reveal right. anything I know. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm a big bad man. I'm just saying that's what that's I did. Right. That's what I believe. Good. I've been a Christian since I was 10 years old. Yeah. But I find everywhere I go that I'm always bleeding somewhere. Yeah. I'm leaving a trail of blood everywhere I go. Because mm. I'm not getting healed. Yeah. Nowhere I go. I mean, I'm a Christian. I study the Bible every day. I pray every day. Uh, yeah. I can find no place I can go. Get any healing at all. I've been in five mental hospitals. Mm -hmm. It never helped me. It's always something. I, I, a lot of people may not want to hear that, but uh, that's me. That's where I'm at. Yeah. And, uh, tell me again. Billy. Billy. <clears throat> you're, uh, you're probably going to continue to, in your terms, leave drops of blood um, until you're home in glory. Um, and, and I will tell you this. We don't care if you if you tell us one, some, or all of what you did. And and what you'll find going through reboot is it becomes less about. Um, let me choose my words here. It's not about whose whose war stories are bigger. It's not about whose trauma is bigger. What we find is we focus on the solution, and the solution being Jesus. And, and really coming into grips with what it really looks like to let him in to help heal him. Um, because, yeah, no one knows, Billy, but he knows. Well, it's not a war story. I think it's duty, honor, and country. You Absolutely. Know, talk about it. Yeah. That's where I'm at, and I'm from a beat the rest of my life. Absolutely. And, you know, I gave another thing. Good. A lot of people have done what I've done and went through books and become millionaires. No. I'll never do that. Yeah. And, Billy, I'll tell you this. You are... I mean, you are the epitome of a patriot. And it is men like you um, that are the reason we're here today. Amen. And so I know you're going to take this to the grave. And God has a special calling on your heart. And maybe it was you that was supposed to hear this about your identity today. That is not you. That's what you did. It's not who you are. You're in Christ Jesus. And He had a special calling on your life for you to carry that with you. <coughs> But he says, what? Pick up your cross. Right. He's going to be with you, brother. So, uh, thank you. Thank I'm, you. All of you. I'm proud you come up. Yeah, thank you. And look, buddy, I'm, I'm still battling. I've been out of recovery. I've been out of addiction. Um, I still backslide. I still have sin in my life I'm trying to deal with. Um, but it doesn't hold me down anymore. Right? It doesn't, I can wake up and say, yes, Jesus, I screwed up, but I am not a screw up. Because we learn in week five here of the difference in godly conviction and shame that the devil tries to put on our lives. And say, not only did you screw something up, but you are the screw up and you deserve that. It's a bold-faced lie. So I can pick myself up now, repent, lean into it, you know, and, and, and really ask Jesus to help heal this, and he will. Right like that. It's amazing. I'm not here to preach. I'm not qualified. <laughs> no, but that that speaks volumes because there's plenty of opportunities out yeah. there. Where we could have became contractors. And we could yeah. have done this. Could have done that. But I know me personally, I could have been one of the worst men on earth. Mm. But that's not me. That's not who God designed me to nope. be. Mm -hmm. I have feelings. I I can turn them off as flip of a switch. Yeah. But that's not who I am. Yeah. And you have to learn that for yourself. Yeah. Absolutely. That's good. 
Well, thank you guys for this. And uh, look, I'm going to hang out with you guys fellowship. But this, um, I can't tell you. My buddy Josh was telling me that I'm probably going to get more out of this than you guys did. And, <laughs> and in, the, in, the, in the midst of what my family is going through, this is such a breath of fresh air. Um, I'm so passionate about what this organization stands for. Um, and it is not because of the organization. It's because um, of the one who leads it, which is our, our Christ Jesus. Yes. Um, so if I can answer anything, please reach out. Brent's got my information, and um, I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you, guys. Thank you.